this is the question of 2015 october november paper 1 2 and the question number is also 12. so it shows a mass of 0 0.2 kg is suspended from the lower end of a light spring then a second mass of 0 0.10 kg is suspended from the first mass by a thread so that means these two masses will be acting to extend the spring the arrangement is allowed to come into static equilibrium so it is uh, first it oscillates a bit then we uh, allow them to come to rest and then the thread is burned through so this thread is uh, burnt so at this instant as soon as the thread burns what is the upward acceleration of the 0 0.20 kg mass so let us say initially uh, we have just suspended this and the system is in equilibrium at that time the tension force that develops in the spring which is which will be acting in upward direction tension force this will be equal to the combined weight combined weight of the system so equal to w and that's equal to w equal to the total mass will be 0 0.20 plus 0 0.10 into 10 where 10 is the value of g so that's equal to it will be 0 0.30 into 10 equal to 3 newton so the value of this tension force is 3 newton in upward direction now as soon as we cut off this uh, string if we cut off this string this uh, only the upper load will remain which is 0 0.20 kg and only the spring remains here the spring will be somewhat like this this is the spring this weight will be gone forever so now the tension force t is t here at the at the very beginning and the new weight is equal to w nu is simply equal to 0 0.20 into z that's equal to 10 so now since we have uh, no mass here uh, this mass is absent this w nu should be less than the previous w this should be less than the previous w so that means it should be less than this t so therefore after this happens we have force resultant is equal to t minus w nu which will be in which will be in upward direction and that's equal to t is already 3 newton minus 0 0.20 into 10 so this is equal to this second term equal to 2 so it is 1 newton and this is in upward direction now after that from the second law of motion we also have we also have f resultant is equal to mass into acceleration so this is 1 will be equal to the mass remaining is 0 0.20 into a so a will be 1 by 1 by 0 0.20 equal to 5 meter per second square so the this mass will accelerate upward at the rate of 5 meter per second square in the very beginning so the answer choice here is choice number a